Hey guys, Carly with We Print Wraps. All right, so I just got this design done for a customer and it's ready to output for print. So I thought I'd do a little video on how I output a truck. And also I do not have the measurements of this vehicle. So I'm just gonna kind of show you how to do the bleed for on a template if you don't have measurements and kind of how to work around making it the right size. All right, so um, if you go back over here to my layers, like I always do, I have my background layer, my text layer, my template layer, and now I've created a new layer for my panels. And I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna start drawing my boxes and figure out how I wanna get this all paneled up. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my rectangle tool. I picked a bright color red. I'm gonna change that to the stroke and I'm gonna go ahead and work on getting the first panel started on the wrap. So I'm going to draw a rectangle over the front door all the way to the bottom of the truck. I want to cover the whole door and then I'm going to go all the way to the top. Alright, so this rectangle is saying that it is 45 inches wide and 52.7 inches tall. Um, but I'm designing in a 10% scale, so it's, that's why it's 4.5 instead of 45 and 5.2 instead of 52. So now I want to add some bleed. Well, actually, I'm going to drop my boxes first and then add all the bleed after. All right, so that's my front door. I'm going to go to the front fender. I'm going to go and draw. There's always a line right here in a truck. Um, I kind of go there and then to the bottom and all the way to the front. And what's awesome about this wrap is that it's actually a partial wrap. So we're not wrapping the bumpers on this truck. Um, we're not wrapping the hood and we're only wrapping the tailgate. We're actually not wrapping the roof either. Um, so this design, they wanted to kind of make it a partial so that it would, um, since we're not wrapping the hood, it would fade to white in the front and it would blend with the bumper since the bumper's white. So the wrap ends in white and then it ends in white in the back too. So that's why there's those nice fades and there's nothing on kind of these front panels. All right, so now I'm going to go to my back door and start drawing my box. And um, let's see, I always do my back door. The back door is normally smaller and then plus what wraps around to the back window between the back door, like I guess the back cab you would call it. Um, you always need to remember that you wanna give some extra over here towards the back window because um, there's a space from the door to um, the bedside and then also what wraps around to the back window. But I'll go into detail about that when we start adding the bleed. All right, so there's another panel and then I'm gonna draw a panel for my bed. Um, so what I've noticed about these templates is that if you draw your box all the way to the end of the bumper, kind of covers you for um, what wraps around from the end of the bed to the round to the tailgate. Um, so I always put the box to the end of the bumper. Sometimes if I don't have measurements, I make sure to add some inches. So when I'm drawing this rectangle, I want to make sure I cover every bit of this bedside. And you can see how I started my box over here in the right corner. I'm actually going to grab it, make sure it goes all the way down here to the left corner. So I'm covering every piece of that bedside. All right. So now I'm going to go ahead and start adding bleed back to the front fender. I have it at, um, I wanted to go to the break. Okay, here we go. Um, Oh, actually, it ends right here because that's where this line is. Okay, so it's saying it's 47 and a half by 33. Um, I like to add more bleed when I don't know the exact measurements because I it's better to have more than not enough. So I um, technically add like three inches almost around to all sides. So I'm going to add six to the, the height and six to the width. So and fenders too, it doesn't hurt to add a little bit of extra width because um, there is a curve that curves around to the front of the headlight. So um, right now it's saying it's 47.5. So I'm gonna go ahead and just change that to 48. And then I'm gonna add six to 48, which is 54. 
and then the height is saying it's 33 and just round up 34 and I'm going to add 6 to that and make it 40. So there's my front fender panel. Alright, so I'm going to grab both these panels since they're going to have for the doors the same height. And right now, oops, well I guess it's not showing it to me. I'll do one at a time. It's saying the height is 52.7 inches, so I'm guessing I'm going to put it at 53. So I know that a large truck is normally about 58 to 60 inches tall, or but I know this is a, a smaller type of truck, so I'm really not sure on the height. So it's saying that it's 53 inches on the template. I'm going to go ahead and just give it a couple extra. So I'm going to, I'm just going to take this up to 53 plus 6 is actually 59. I'm just going to make it 60 inches tall to be safe. It just doesn't hurt to add extra for the height. Uh, kind of looks like a lot. Whatever. I'm going to leave it. All right. So for the front door, it's saying... You can see how the front door, you see it ends right here, but I actually drew my rectangle out to here because the top of the door is actually further over than the middle. So it's saying it's 45 inches wide. Um, I'm just going to make it 50 with bleed. And then the back is saying... So I'm going to go ahead and actually just give it a little more over here to be safe. And then I'm going to add my bleed. So 43. I'm going to just add 4 inches. You can add 4 to 6. It's up to you. I'm going to go add 4 for this one because I feel like I'll have enough color coverage. So I'm going to change it to 47. All right. And... Like, just so you know, too, like, a, a, a normal printer only prints, like, 54 inches wide. Well, 53 and a half. So, I mean, if you wanted to make it that just... But you're wasting a little bit of ink, but you have up to 53 inches. Like, no matter what, like, this panel is going to print with white on the side of it. There's not really much you can nest in there when it, the, a panel is 47 inches wide. So, if you wanted to add a little couple more inches is not going to hurt when printing it. You're not wasting material. I mean, you're just using a little bit more ink. All right. So the bedside I have is 32. Sometimes bedsides range from like 34 to 36. So I'm going to just go ahead and make this 38 to be safe. And then I'm going to... The width is saying 84 and a half. So I'm going to just guess it's 85. And then I'm going to go ahead and just, I think, change that plus 6, 91 to be on the safe side. Alright, so there it is. I got the panels for one size. I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and thicken up that stroke so you can kind of see what's going on here. I'm going to go to my template layer. I'm going to use my direct selection tool. I'm going to go to group selection and I'm going to go... Since I unlock my template layer, I'm going to go and grab the edge of the template, which is the outside of the truck, and I'm going to control C, lock my template layer, go back to my panels layer, control B, which is paste in place, change that stroke to a fill. And then now I'm going to select all of this, and I'm going to hold my alt key down, and I'm going to drag it, and that's going to copy and paste it and let go. And I'm going to right click, transform, reflect. Vertical, 90 degrees, okay. And then now I'm going to go down here and drag this exactly in the same spot. And so I can get my panels done. I'm using my up and down keys to kind of position it to where it needs to go. All right. And then I'm going to delete the, the black background. So now both sides are paneled out and I just need to do the back. And all I need is a tailgate. So I'm going to take my rectangle tool. I'm going to draw over the tailgate. Um, I don't really know if it ends here or here, so I'm just going to go to the bottom to be safe. It's saying it's 58.8, so I'm going to do six, 59 inches wide. It's saying it's 59 by 20, so I'm going to go to make that uh, 25 inches tall for bleed and maybe 63 wide. Technically always for the tailgate. I just do like two inches top and bottom. And there we are for the tailgate. Um, little wiggle room. And that's how I get my panels. So now to actually paneling it out. 
I'm gonna go and unlock the rest of my layers except for my template layer. I'm gonna keep that layer locked. And I'm gonna drag my mouse over my artwork and I'm going to Alt key, hold down, drag my artwork down here and I'm gonna start making my clipping mask. So I need, I know I need to duplicate this four times, So, I'm, but I'm gonna to go to my background layer and release my clipping mask. Um, make sure all my artwork fits in these um, these boxes. So since it ends white here, I don't have to worry about making sure that the white goes all the way to the edge, but like if I had a, a color over here, I would need to drag this background to make sure it fit in my panel. But it, since an artboard background is white and that is white, I don't have to. I'm going to go ahead and just keep it like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and Alt, hold down, drag over the artwork and duplicate it four times. So I have four panels and I'm going to now delete the ones that I don't want to clip. I'm going to highlight my artwork, object, clipping mask, make, and then I'm going to grab my artboard and I'm going to put it over here and put an artboard around that panel. All right, so next panel, sometimes I just like to go and delete all the red first. Okay. I just want my stroke to be small. Okay, so now I'm gonna select over here. I'm gonna right click, um, make clipping mask is my faster way of doing it. And then I'm gonna go over, right click, make clipping mask. And then also like, just a reminder, you always wanna make sure whatever you're making a clipping mask with is on top. So wherever I drive this is on top. I'm gonna hit Control Z, put it back where it goes. I'm gonna drag over it and then make clipping mask. So there I am. I got all of my panels right here. Um, technically, I would put all these into a file new, you know, and I could label it uh, as a driver, passenger, passenger. And then I would copy, control C, paste, control V. And then that's when I would, um, they're all highlighted and I'm gonna take my artboard tool and I'm going to um, click on the fill in each of them, and it makes the artboard. I'm gonna delete the artboard that was already in. Um, I'm gonna go to my artboards, double check that there's four artboards, because if you don't put an artboard around each piece of artwork and you send it to print, it's not gonna get printed, so you always wanna make sure. Oh, and also sometimes too, um, from the back door to the bedside. Ooh, it looks like, look at it, I zoom in here, something got a little off. Artwork got moved. Wow, I need to fix that. I'm gonna go ahead and align that to each other. Um, all right, guys, part two of finishing the output for this truck. Um, apparently, I accidentally hit the escape button to get out of my, I double clicked on this to get you know into my selection and my clipping mask. And if you hit escape, it ends my video screen recording so once let's get back on this i zoomed in and noticed that this is not right this text is supposed to be lined up with the border so i'm going to go and select those and line the selection not going to hit escape i'm going to go up here to the back button and i'm going to get out of this selection and i'm going to zoom out um what i was going to continue to say is that when you like let's go to the design real quick i'm going to show you oh that's not the design it's the other panels so uh, I don't have this text going from like the bedside to the door. So technically on the back door panel, I made the clipping mask because I had so much bleed to go around in the back window. I got some of this text. I'm just gonna go in here and delete it. Um, all right, no escape. <laughs> um, just because it doesn't really need to be there. All right, so there it is. I got the passenger side of the wrap and I would, you know, file save that passenger side. And then normally I would delete it and then go grab my other side and then pull control C, that one into that file, just cause when you, when I hit file save, then it would already be in the file that I need, folder that it needs to be in. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete some of those artboards. All right, now I'm gonna kinda do this 
fast on how I would release the clipping mask and uh, make new clipping mask, I guess. All right, so I'm going to copy and paste these panels. I'm going to go ahead and start deleting. Um, this is another way you can do it. I'm going to not select all the artwork. I'm only going to select the artwork that's um, where the lines of the box are because that's all that needs to be clipped. So you'll see that extra stuff gets left behind. Um, I'm going to make just sure I grab enough. Um, make clipping mask. I'm going to go ahead and delete all this. Ugh, I want to hit escape so bad. Okay. I'm going to zoom back out and then grab the bedside and then now this will also make my file a little smaller because I didn't make a clipping mask of all the artwork each time. Didn't need all of that in every clipping mask. I'm going to go over it and just select it all and delete it. And now I have all my files. I'm going to highlight them with my mouse. I'm going to go to my artboard tool, click on each of them. You want to click on like a background or fill or the edge of the artwork. If you click on like and I'm something in there sometimes. Well, it didn't do it this time. It'll like put an artboard around just the text or an object that's already vector. I'm gonna delete the artboard. I'm gonna go to artboards. Right, I have extra artboards. I think that one's extra. All right, so I have four, four artboards, four panels. And then last but least, the tailgate. Control C. Control V. Release clipping mask. Right click, make clipping mask, and then artboard around that. Go to my artboards, delete the rest of the artboards, and there you have it. I output the whole wrap just like that. Um, let's see, was there anything else I was missing out and wanted to tell you guys? Just trying to think about it. Well, I didn't have to wrap the hood or the bumpers or anything else, so I guess that's it for now. Um, see you next time.